Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Boeing's recent unveiling of an armed variant of the MQ-25 Stingray tanker drone at the Sea Airspace Exposition 2024 signals a potential expansion of the drone's mission profile beyond aerial refueling. Equipped with two Lockheed Martin AGM-158C long-range anti-surface missiles, RASMs, this variant underscores the U.S. Navy's re-evaluation of the MQ-25's capabilities amidst evolving strategic challenges. Rear Admiral Stephen Tedford, the Navy's program executive for unmanned systems and weapons, revealed plans to explore the feasibility of incorporating autonomous combat drones, dubbed Collaborative Combat Aircraft, CCA, on aircraft carriers. These drones, designed with a short operational lifespan and a cost-effective price cap of approximately $15 million each, are envisioned to conduct surveillance and strike missions before serving as kamikaze drones or targets in training exercises. This initiative marks a departure from previous approaches, notably following the restructuring of the unmanned carrier-launched Airborne Surveillance and Strike UCLS, program into the carrier-based aerial refuel system CBARS, which defined the MQ-25's primary role as aerial refueling. Despite delays and cost overruns, the MQ-25 program remains on track for operational capability by 2026. The U.S. Navy is initiating studies to determine the necessary payloads, sensors, and mission systems for these uclus inspired drones, aiming to complement manned fighters like the F divided by a minus 18E divided by F Super Hornet and the F-35 Joint Strike Fighter. Concurrently, the Navy continues to prioritize the MQ-25 tanker drone, which is expected to enhance carrier air wing operations and potentially serve as a platform for advanced surveillance, reconnaissance, and strike missions. The MQ-25's design incorporates features intended to enhance its survivability and versatility, essential for operations in regions with advanced anti-access-slash-area denial (A2/AD) systems. Its considerable fuel capacity enables extended ranges, facilitating operations in contested environments while reducing risk to carrier groups. Boeing's display of the armed MQ-25 variant at the Sea Air Space Exposition underscores the platform's potential capability for engaging in anti-ship and surface strike missions. The integration of LRASMs further enhances its offensive capabilities, aligning with the Navy's strategic goals of increasing unmanned capabilities in carrier air wings. As the MQ-25 Stingray evolves to assume diverse mission roles, it signifies a significant shift in U.S. naval aviation tactics and strategy, reflecting the Navy's commitment to leveraging unmanned systems to enhance operational effectiveness and address emerging threats. That's all for now. See you later.